what's up YouTube? This video is not really shim. I'm not making it for all of you guys out there. Well, I am to help you out, but also mostly just for my buddy, um, my, my friend, um, on Xbox. We've known, known him for like, how long? Two years now? Xbox Live. Yeah, he is, he just started collecting Pokemon. He's nine. He's just started collecting. And, um... He had some questions that I can't really show him because we don't know each other face to face. So I thought I could make a video on it and this is the only way he can really see it. So I'm going to teach him about Pokemon, giving him some tutorial, tutorials, how to preserve your cards. And then after, he wants to know what he's getting because he doesn't really know too many of the cards and sets. But he loves Pokemon. He's opened a pack and a theme deck and he says he really likes it. And I'm going to be sending him some cool cards. So I'll be showing you in this video what I'm sending them, and also I'll be giving a tutorial for you guys can look at it and watch how to preserve your cards, rare, what's the difference between rare and commons, commons, you know, all that in this video. So, uh, we're going to go through really fast, you know. So, how to preserve your cards. It's really, really, really easy. Um, all you got to do is go to Walmart or Toys R Us or Target. You can pick up the sleeves. The clear penny sleeves, they will have like a little pamphlet here saying 100 card sleeves, you know, blah, 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 it's blue. Yeah, it's cool. So, it'll come in this little Ziploc baggie, and what you, all you gotta do, is, so you open up your pack of Pokemon cards, or you have your Pokemon cards, and all you gotta do, so to preserve them better, you just leave them in these kind of sleeves, and you gotta keep, you keep them all nice and protected. So that's that. And I suggest doing that for hollows and reverse rares. So those, you know, in the pack, at the pack, right before the rare card is like this cool hollow pattern of like a leaf or a fire, like a metal, you know, that. Well, if it has the star at the bottom of the right hand, the right corner, right down there, if it's got a star down there, we'll sleeve it up with those penny sleeves. Now, if you pull something very cool that you love, or, you know, even though it's not an ultra rare or special card, and you really want to keep it protected the best way possible, what I do is I sleeve it in this. And then if it's like a super rare card, like this Verizion right here, I also take a penny sleeve and I double sleeve it, so no dust particle can get in. I sleeve it like this, but I don't want to take out another sleeve, so... Yeah, so it's really easy, you know. Um, so that's how you protect your cards, but wait, there's one more step. After you've put your card in a sleeve, put it in this top loader. So it'll look like that in the top loader. And you can buy them for like, I think, 10 bucks, $5 a pack. And it comes with like 25 of them, so really good. To get colored sleeves like these, um, these you'd have to buy offline, online, I meant. And if you want to get colored sleeves like pink or whatever, go down to your comic shop. They should have them. It's called Dragon's Shield. Get those. Very good. Now, let's continue. What a shiny card is, alright, there you have your hollows, your normal rares, and your uncommons and commons. A common, not a big deal at all. Five will come per pack. Uncommon, not a big deal. Three will come per pack. Reverse is basically a wild card. You don't know if it's going to be rare, uncommon, or common. Then you have your rare. You have your regular rares that doesn't have anything to it, like this kind of just regular, you know, nothing special about it. It's just like that. Then, you have your hollows. Then, you got your EX cards. This is an EX right here. Then, you have more EXs. <laughs> you have your Ace picks right there. And you also have your full art cards. Let me get out full art. That's a full art card right there. And yeah, that's that's that. So, and then you have your shinies. The best cards are the shinies. They'll have the gold border, and they call them shinies because this Pokemon is blue, right? Well, if it's a shiny Lucario, the color will not be blue. It will be a different color. So this Verizion is originally, I think, green. Yes, it's originally green, but since it's a shiny card, it's purple. See how they do that? Yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. So that's that. I've taught you pretty much everything you need to know to be your first step of collecting. But, one more thing. My friend, he bought a theme deck thinking, you know, he thought it was a pack. He didn't know. But, it, but it tells you the cards you're going to get in theme decks. But if you want that 
mysteriousness and that surprise. Like, what am I going to get this time, guys? Buy a Pokemon booster pack. Here's an empty EX Ruby Sapphire. They don't sell these in stores anymore. These are really old. Um, um, I suggest they're just coming like this, like, cardboard thing, and then you'll it'll have, like, a plastic front. Just take off the plastic, there's the pack, and then open it. I know you want packs, so this is what you look for, but it'll say, like, Plasma Storm or Plasma Freeze. That's what it'll say. Alright, so now I've taught you everything. So, in the next book live, dude, I told you I would send you a Pokemon booster box, because you want to hold your cards and something, you know, nice. So, it, it just looks fantastic. So, here's a Pokemon booster box. Empty. What they do is when they're sealed, they have 36 packs in them. So, yep. And uh, you open it up. And you put it like that so you can, like, hold cards in it. Like that, you know? It just looks very nice and very cool. You can even hold top loaded cards in it like that. And Charizard Star right there. By the way, Charizard Star, it's a very rare card. They're very old. But Gold Stars are very sought after cards, and they're very, very special. So if you ever get one, nice job, buddy. <laughs> All right. So, let's get started on what I'm sending you, AK. It's a lot of goodies, so get happy. All right. Well, I am going to be sending you all the hollows of Plasma Storm. I have to get the Gallade in my tree binder. So the hollows are Lucario, Kling Kling, Togekiss, Weezing, Crobat, Magnezone, Infernape, Garbodor, and this Pikachu promo card. These are not part of sets. They're just part of the promos. They'll say promo down there uh, over a black star, which is really cool. So I'll have to get the Gallade out for you, dude. I'll be sending you these three cool stickers. You said you like Toy Story, so I got some cool stickers for you. Here's a Slink. A three of them. And a Bullseye. So you can put that on your binder, whatever you want, bro. They're yours. That's my mom watching something. I'm also sending you all the common to common complete set of Japanese Meg Little Cannon, which is, it hasn't even come out in English yet, but it's not right here. I still gotta grab a couple more cards to complete it, the common to common set. So, this is what you'll be getting. This cute little Lapras. <laughs> you will love this, because you said you would like to, some Japanese cards, because you thought that'd be really cool, you know. So, I'm sending you that. All of this it gets better. I'll send you a pack of sealed sleeves, 100 clear sleeves to protect your cards. I'll send you one pack of top loaders, bro. An empty plasma storm booster box to hold your cards in. Yeah, very cool. Right? That would be on the top. Plasma storm. I'll send you a near complete shiny collection. I send if I can find my Growls and Pikachu's, or oh, the ones that I didn't send off the PSA. I thought I sent them all off, but I, if I have one that I didn't send off, I will definitely put it in here. Here you go. Just give you here a Pikachu and Growl if I find it, bro. But if I can, I'm sorry that you don't have a complete 20 cards. But here are 18. But these are like very special. They have like the star effect. They're very cool. You will love them. They're very glittery, and they're special, and they're only made in Japanese. Here's what a Japanese bag looks like, by the way. just wanted to put that up there. I haven't really showed. It's different. It looks different to the, you know, regular chat bag. So, let's get into what I'm giving you from the trade binder. I have some cool cards I'll be giving you. I will be giving you a Victini EX, dude. I'm giving you this card right here. Ship it off fresh in a top loader, mint condition. Dude, it gets better. I will send you a Japanese Meloetta EX. Look at that. That's two EX parts. I will be sending you a Victory Piece A spec. I will be sending you a Japanese ace spec. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, it'd be getting better. I'll be sending you. I don't know if I should do this, but I might. Yeah, I will. Cresselia EX full art, dude. That's gonna be yours. And this Gallade up here. Take it out right now. This Gallade, dude, it's yours. Put it with your cards. Wait, let me make sure. Let me. What the heck is that? Now? What the? What the? Hey! Those fall. Oh crap! Um, where did that complete hole go? What the? You guys are probably like smacking yourself, smacking me in the face right now, because it's probably like right in front of me. Derp. Derp to derp derp. Where the heck is it? Okay, we're. I'm gonna find it after. Sorry about that, guys. But I'll be sending you. We'll continue. A Japanese misprint hollow right here. Let me just get it out. This misprint hollow. And this Archin. And a Haxorus. All three of those right there yours, dude. If I'm going to be sending you these cards, I'm going to make them worth it. And... This epic, 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 Get this hold up. So all of these cards, you guys, are now... You will be yours, little buddy. So, um... I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial video, and AK, I hope you enjoy the cards that I'll be giving you. I, you know, collected them, and they will be yours. So peace out.